same society that the creditors are going to ambush you and with pressure because they believe what the creditors say. And because you are so tense, you can't concentrate on the schoolwork, so your schoolwork deteriorates. And because you're targeted, other kids won't go near you for fear of being targeted themselves. So it actually increases the isolation and can lead to school suspension, school refusal. Now what can we do? A map of safe and vulnerable areas. In some areas receive more supervision, especially school transport at the end of a long day. They're very vulnerable at that time. So it's just basically finding out school corridors, all those sorts of places, more supervision, or safe havens community like the anime club, or the uh, library, or the chess club, or something like that, where they can go, where it's safe, where the predators won't be. But the way to be successful is to recognize that most acts of bullying and teasing are covert, they're hidden. Teachers don't see it. Well, of course they don't see it, because whoever does it doesn't want to get caught. <coughs> but they'll do it often with other kids around watching, because they need the audience. There's no point in being a bully and nobody sees it. You know, you've got to get other people to see what you're doing, because you enjoy the power, intoxicated by the power. So what we're trying to do is to get the bystanders who aren't involved to step in and stop it. To say, it's not cool, we're not scared, it's not acceptable. <coughs> stop it. Maybe threatening to tell the teachers is a possibility. But the main thing is, you get the high social status in Australian schools, sports guys. Because in Australian schools, the sports guys are gods. And interestingly, I find those with Asperger's who are in team sports are rarely bullied. Because there's that family orientation. So it's a consequence, it's for not in the Hey, the whole class has a detention. Well, why? Because it had nothing to do with us. Yes, there are sins of commission and sins of omission. It's what you didn't do. You want a history lesson? 1930s in Nazi Germany, of the ultimate predators and the rise and destruction that they caused. So it's basically saying, step in and stop it. And providing the social conscience and social status to make sure that it doesn't happen. And when I talk to the adults who have been through that, often just one guy stepping in and stopping it has had a huge difference on self-esteem. Now, avoid vulnerable situations. Luke Jackson said, one day things got too much to bear. I tried to hide in the changing rooms away from my tormentors. I wish I had written my book, Freaks, Geeks, and Asperger's Syndrome, um, as I would have realized that hiding away is the worst thing to do. These two lads, <coughs> found me and <coughs> me in much the same way as a cat plays with a mouse. Don't go to a quiet one somewhere at school breaks. <coughs> somewhere safe, such as the library, I know it sounds strange, but when you think you are hiding, you are most likely to be found in toilets, especially hiding in toilets. Because the teachers won't go there, nobody else will go, head down the toilet, flush it, especially with the toilet with something in it. Um, AS kids are not good at working out how other people think. The best thing to do is stay with your friend if you have one, or at least the place where there are lots of people around as witnesses. Because the predators can talk the heart rate <coughs> of a donkey. They appear the virtuous victim. And it's the asper who gets into trouble. But they set him up. They're the ones behind their sleeves laughing and he getting into trouble. So security is in numbers. Hide in a group of children and adults. Now when I say that to the guys, they say, but, but, but the other guys don't want me in their group. You don't have to be in their group. You just have to be near them. So that they have an opportunity for a weakness of who started it. To confuse the teachers, see how it ended, not how it started. Supervised activities such as chess club and congregate with like-minded peers, um, the science club, <coughs> the nerd group. So remember, revenge of the nerds. So in other words, if they're in a group, they're less vulnerable. Now, but you must have a response. Ignoring will make the situation worse. If you can, stay calm. And that's where, fortunately, martial arts can be so helpful in teaching you to hold the Christ. Also, if you move yourself into a position of stability, that person starts to feel the predator a bit uneasy. And actually, 
All you've got to do is throw them to the ball like two on their feet again. You don't have to stamp on his throat to kill him, you just have to throw him to the ball. And sometimes just the demonstration of that is enough. So that's what we look for, staying calm. But it's also an assertive, true, and constructive response. We had, Michelle and I were doing a group, and we were doing a scenario, and we had one group of guys, teenage boys, with Asperger's, another teenage boy, and we said, okay, you two can start. Uh, the one in the other group, his father's a police officer, and he thinks the world is the father. And the one guy in the group said, and your, your, your father's a policeman, and he's on the tape. He's, he's a police officer. And of course, we were about to suggest what he said. Yeah, and your mother's a prostitute. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't help himself. But he a fight fire with fire when you get to, no, don't. Answer that, etc. So we'll go through the middle of that one. So we may do I don't deserve this, stop it, or I don't like that, stop it. Telling a lie could be I don't care what you say or do. Typical kids may do that, these kids often can't do that or turn it into a joke. Most important to walk away to a safe area if you can. But an adult must explain why they occur, and that's where we do a social story on the psychology of predators. Why do they do this? Because if they don't understand why someone would enjoy being mean to me, why would they laugh when I'm hurt? If they think I've got problems, they've got worse problems. So the illogicality of it, the vulnerability of it, really, because they're not good at talking about it, disclosing it, and sharing it, they relive the event many times to understand <coughs> what was going on. So it's still fresh in their memories. So somebody needs to explain with Carol Gray stick figures and speech and thought bubbles, he was hating me, he was hating. No, he was actually wanting the other kids to see what he could do. The Draco Malfoy mm -hmm. approach to friendship <laughs> and fear and power and control. So we use comic strip conversation. But you can understand why some of the guys, as teenagers, their home is their castle. Actually, I go to digress to the castle because I thought I'd tell you the cure for autism spectrum disorders. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can cure it. I guarantee I can cure ASD in any kid or adult, no matter how severe the expression. It's not therapy. No. Um, it's not medication. If you want to cure your son or daughter with ASD, all you do is take them to their bedroom. You place them in their bedroom, walk out, close up, and he's cured. Because on his own, he can't have a quality compared to reciprocal interaction. There can be no social deficits in solitude. You have no problems with the other conversation, there's no one to have a conversation with, and you can do what you want to do, special interest, as long as you like, and nobody's going to stop you. The cure of ASD is solitude. <coughs> but for this teenager, the contrast between the cure the relaxation and enjoyment and solitude and being with toxic teenagers. The concern <coughs> is, when they graduate from high school, they don't want to leave their bedroom. And I get some who have been marooned in their bedroom for decades. Because it's their cure. On the internet, you don't have Asperger's syndrome. And so that's why it's so very important. The moment they graduate from high school, they must have a job, college or something that gets them out of their bedroom, otherwise they will stay there. That's the risk. Oh, hang on, do you believe that? Yeah, we're not going to actually do the activity, it was an interactive activity and we're going to go on instead to the next topic which is number six because we do have really important topics.